guys, so we are in Austin and today, um, oh, here's Seth, my boyfriend. We are going to meet Marissa Meyer um, for her Lunar Ever After tour. Um, and so we're gonna get our, the new copies of the Lunar Chronicle signed, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Okay guys, so now I am just going to go ahead and talk to you guys and show you guys the books that I got signed by Marissa Meyer and tell you guys kind of how the event went. So as you saw, um, we got to Austin, we ate lunch, and then we went ahead and we went to the mall also, <laughs> and then we went to Book People, which is where the event was being held, and we waited for a, like an hour, and then finally Marissa Meyer came out and did her talk, and she just told us um, about how she became a writer and how she got interested in writing and then she also told us where she came up with the idea for the Lunar Chronicles entire thing and basically she just said that she saw that there was a lack of sci-fi mixed with fairy tales which there's still not that much of that but she noticed that and she was like that's a really cool idea like somebody should like take that and run with it like that is a good idea and then she was like well I should do that and so she actually wrote the Lunar Chronicles, like Cinder and like the first couple of books during NaNoWriMo like one year. Um, and that's crazy because if you're a writer and you know what NaNoWriMo is, um, actually finishing the 150,000 word goal is not easy. And she like surpassed it and did it like phenomenally and wrote more than one book for NaNoWriMo one year. And that is just phenomenal. Um, and I really liked her. I think she is so bubbly, um, like, on her Instagram, but she's just like that in person, too, which I was just, you know, you just want to be happy around her, and I just love that. As you saw, I got my book signed, and we were only able to get one book personalized, like, with your name, and then one extra one from home, and I love the Renegades trilogy by Marissa Meyer. That's the, like, books that first got me introduced to Marissa Meyer. Um, and I'm barely on Scarlet, and um, I've read Cinder, but I'm barely reading Scarlet, so I'm not even done with the Lunar Chronicles, but I just really wanted to meet her. And so I, um, was more excited to hear her talk about Renegades and just go because of Renegades, but now that I'm getting into the Lunar Chronicles, I'm like, she's really good. Like, I really love her work, and I'm really glad that I made the decision to go, because I'm very glad to have met her. So the whole tour was to promote and get more sales, I'm guessing, for the new covers of the Lunar Chronicle series. So they all have these different colors, like one's pink, one's blue, one's green, and one's like purple, I think. Um, they all have these different colors, and the covers look very different, but I really like them. Um, I don't actually think I'm going to get all of them because I like the original covers a bit better, but maybe that's because I just bought all of those to read them, so I don't feel like spending the money to buy all the new covers again, but I had to buy the new cover to even get into the signing, so I did. I actually bought Cinder and I bought Crest, but I don't have Crest because I bought it and gave it to my friend. Her name is Lisa, at Lisa Marie Reads. I will link her channel down below. You should please go check her out. Her videos are awesome and she has like a lot of really good reading vlogs. Like I just love her, okay? But we're in this group chat together on Twitter, and she kept talking about the Lunar Chronicles, trying to get everybody to read it, telling everybody they should read it, and tell her what she thinks. And I was like, wow, like, I really want to read it, and that's kind of what pushed me to do it. And so I credit me even reading the Lunar Chronicles to Lisa. And so I was like, I sneakily asked her, I was like, do you like the new covers of the books? And she's like, yeah. And I was like, which one's your favorite book? Like, just, does it get better from Cinder? Like, you know, just trying to ask her. And she's like, oh, I love Crest, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, 
I'm gonna buy her crest, I'm gonna get it signed for her, and I'm gonna, like, mail it to her. Like, I don't even know if, like, she's gonna think that's weird, but I'm gonna just try because, I don't know, I just felt like I really wanted to do that. So, Lisa, I hope you love it. It's literally on the way, like, I just got home yesterday from the signing, and I mailed it first thing this morning, so it is on its way, um, but that leaves me with Cinder, and I'm very happy because I really love Cinder. Like I said, I haven't finished Scarlet, but I really love Cinder, so I'm very happy to have this one personalized, and I will show you guys. Also, they each, um, each of the new covers comes with, like, a picture, which is, like, a scene from inside the book, basically. And I just love this one. It's Cinder, like, walking down the stairs from the ball, and you can see Kai chasing her, and I just think it's really, really adorable and really pretty, and, um, I don't know. I really love Cinder. I'm a sucker for, like, the first books and series and the nostalgia of, like, the beginning of things, and so I'm really happy to have got this one personalized, but as you can see, it just says to Andrew and it says Marissa Meyer, and her, um, autograph right there, but... I am very glad with my decision, and I hope Lisa likes hers that is on the way in the mail to her. <laughs> so, like I said, we were able to get one extra book signed from home, and um, my boyfriend went with me, so what does that mean, guys? That means I get two books from home signed because I have an extra person who doesn't read and doesn't have any of his own books to get signed. So, luckily for me, I got my copy of Renegade signed. Of course, I was so stuck between, like, I had the, I took the entire Renegades trilogy, and I knew I could only get two signed, and I was like, oh. like, what am I going to do, because I really wanted all three signed, but I was like, ah, I don't know, and I was like, you know what, I better just get Renegades, it's the first one, the nostalgia, like, I need to. Arch Enemies was a for sure, but I couldn't tell if I wanted Renegades or Supernova, um, because Supernova is so gorgeous, but in the end, I went with the nostalgia factor, so, um, I don't know if you can see but she signed it in like a silver sharpie and I think it looks really cool with the concept of Renegades and the like, I don't know, the way this page looks because it's dark, I don't know, kind of goes with the vibe, I love it. Um, so then, then, what? So then I also got Arch Enemy signed. Um, this cover is bomb! This cover is so gorgeous, okay? I just have to say that. Also, if you haven't read Renegades, go read Renegades, like what are you doing? It's really good, like, go read it now. But I got this one signed too. She signed it in that like silver sharpie again. And yeah, I really, really love this that I got these two signed. I wish I had Supernova signed, but next time, okay? Next time. It's okay. It's okay, Andrew. You can get it signed again. You can meet her again. It's like, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm like having a mental breakdown right now, but it's fine. It's fine. They were also giving out these Renegades like flyers. Um, I think these were just like old from like her promotions and like for Renegades Much Enemies. But if you can see, I don't know if you guys can catch it, but it says, um, it's like a hologram, and it says, like, do you have what it takes to be a hero? And, like, this is all the Renegades cast, um, of characters, and so it's, like, them in normal clothing, and then it changes to them in, like, their superhero uniforms, which I think is really cool, and it just, like, changes. I don't even know if the camera's catching that, but maybe it is. I don't know. So I grabbed two of them because um, my boyfriend was there. We paid for his ticket. Like, I deserve two of them. So I have two of these. You probably saw this in the clips of me actually meeting her too. But I actually painted this bag. Um, and it says, Carpe Librum Sees the Day. I saw this quote on Pinterest and I wanted to make it into my own, like, book bag. Um, but I actually painted all of my favorite books. Like, if you look closely, you will be able to tell what book it is because I made the covers, like, the exact colors of the spines, and I also wrote the, um, author's name and the title, like, as much as I could fit, and so I had put Renegades on here, and Marissa Meyer actually signed it, and my goal is to get, like, all of these signed by, can you even see, okay, let me put it here, my goal is to get all of these signed by the author, so, like, this first one is Harry Potter, will I ever meet J.K. Rowling? Probably not, but if I ever do, I want to get her descendants back. Um, and then I have like a very large expanse of sea, by to head of Some of them I have twice. Like I have Shatter Me on here too. I haven't even read Shatter Me, but I just feel like I'm gonna like it, so I just put it on here. Um, uh, the Cruel Prince, The Darkest Minds, uh, City of Bones. You already know I have Cassie Clare. I'm gonna meet her this Saturday, so hopefully I get that one signed. Um, Angie Thomas, The Hate You Give, Six of Crows, Lee Bardugo, which I already met her and I forgot to take it 
I also forgot to take it to Holly Black, so that sucks, but hopefully I meet them again. Um, Hunger Games, that one's Fantastic Beasts, and um, yeah, Red Queen, Victoria Aviar. Um, the only one I probably can't get signed is A Tale of Two Cities, because that's by Charles Dickens, and he's, you know, he's not around, he's not available, like, he doesn't really do any book signings anymore, like, he's just chilling, you know, so I don't think I'll ever get this one signed by Charles Dickens, so it'll always be incomplete, but, like, maybe, you know, just maybe, but he's kind of busy right now, you know, so... He's dead. Also, he didn't know. He's dead. So my camera cut off. Um, also, I'm using my camera today. I hope this quality is really good. I hope I'm in focus. If I'm not, I'm gonna cry. But I hope I am. And be expecting better quality videos because I finally bought a tripod. I had a big ass tripod. Like a good sized tripod. And then it broke. Now I have a new one, just like the other one. It's pretty cheap. It's $15. It's from Walmart. It might break again. So let's just enjoy this while we have it up and working, okay? But yeah, so that, those are the books that I got signed. I also picked up Love Boat Taipei by Abigail Hink Wen. Um, this book is one that I've seen going around like the book community for a long time. So I want to try it out. Um, it's a young adult romance kind of thing. So I'm excited. I had to pick it up because I was at a bookstore. Had an hour to waste. I had to look around, so I had to buy something. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It was pretty um, straightforward. Pretty much just me meeting Marissa Meyer, and I hope you enjoyed that. So let me know down below if you've ever met an author or who you would want to meet. Um, if you could meet any author that like is like alive, I don't know. <laughs> okay. So that's pretty much all I'm going to say. So I hope you like this vlog. And I hope you like this vlog down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>